Hey guys, Dr. Axe here, Dr. Natural Medicine and founder of DrAxe.com. Today I'm going to be talking about the warning signs that you have a calcium deficiency in the top calcium rich foods you need to be getting in your diet today. So we're going to dive right in and talk about some of the surprising calcium rich foods plus warning signs of your calcium deficient, and how to overcome a calcium deficiency. So for starters, listen, If you here are symptoms that you have a calcium deficiency. Number one, brittle bones and fractures. If you know somebody or you yourself has bro broken bones very, fairly easily, that could be a big warning sign that you have a calcium deficiency. Now also osteoporosis, if you have osteoporosis, that means you have a calcium deficiency. Blood clotting problems, especially if you tend to get bruising and it stays for a long time or you can tell you kind of get these age spots or skin issues, that can be a warning sign. Weakness and fatigue, child growth delays, heart problems, these are all warning signs that you have a calcium deficiency. Now, here are benefits in general of having optimal levels of calcium in your body. Number one, supports muscle and nerve function. So think about it. your brain controls every organ in your body working for your heart to beat, your lungs to breathe, your bowels to move. Calcium supports your brain and nervous system and, and it, so it's very, very important for that reason. Diabetic prevention. So calcium has been shown to prevent diabetes in medical studies, been shown to be crucial for the dental health of your mouth and gums. Also, weight loss support. A lot of people don't realize how beneficial and how necessary calcium is being one of the most abundant minerals in your body. So let's now talk about the most calcium rich foods you should be getting in your diet every single day. Number one is kale. We call kale the king of the vegetable kingdom. It's high in vitamin A, lutein, xanthine, so it's great for your eyes, but also it's one of the most calcium rich foods, super greens out there. I love doing kale as a kale salad or sauteed kale with some garlic and coconut oil and sea salt. Number two, sardines. You know, sardines are an omega-3 rich superfood, which we know omega-3s reduce inflammation. With Sardines are high in omega-3s, they're high in protein, but also very, very high in calcium. This is one of the ultimate foods for healing the body. Number three is kefir. So kefir, one of the great things about kefir, now again, I don't recommend conventional cow's milk. Conventional cow's milk today is loaded with hormones, steroids, antibiotics, other medications. It's pasteurized, it's homogenized, it's toxic to the body. But if you can go out to a farmer's market or buy certified organic goat's milk kefir, all those probiotics, in fact, it's probably the most probiotic rich superfood in the world. The good news is, is that kefir, you're gonna absorb even more of the calcium because of all of the probiotics. So kefir, I would include yogurt there as well, an incredible calcium rich superfood. So number four here, we've talked about raw milk. It hasn't been pasteurized or homogenized, which actually will damage a lot of the enzymes, which can affect absorption. Number five here, white beans. White beans are actually very high in calcium, so especially if you're on a vegan diet, white beans are one of the superfoods you wanna be adding into your diet. Number six, raw milk cheese. Now, I love doing raw sheep and goat cheeses. I love Manchego, I love Petite Basque, uh, I love doing uh, different brands of, of, even raw goat cheddar is very good. Raw milk cheese is a very good place to get your calcium. Number seven is okra. Now, okra has a little bit of a slimy substance, but this stuff is delicious, especially with made with stewed tomatoes. So okra is also very good for the health of your bowel movements. So again, if you have that issue too, okra is good. Number eight, collard greens. You know, collard greens are up there with kale in terms of its overall nutrient density. So doing collard greens, another calcium-rich superfood. Almonds, this one might surprise you. Almonds in terms of the nut family and nuts and seeds have the highest levels of calcium. So you can also do, oftentimes do an almond milk. If you're allergic or sensitive to dairy, doing almonds or almond milk instead can be a good replacement and you're gonna get some calcium. Number 10, natto. Now natto is fermented soy. Now we don't recommend, or I don't recommend conventional soy because of all the phytoestrogens. The good news is, is natto, which is an ancient Japanese superfood dish, very high in probiotics like Bacillus subtilis, 
Also, though, very high levels of calcium. So natto is part of what's uh, part of the Japanese diet where, the, and really Japanese have more centurions per person than anywhere else in the world. Number 11 is we know goat cheese is a better option than most cow's milk cheese. So throwing a little goat cheese on a kale salad can be a good option. And then mustard greens, similar to collard greens, spinach and kale, also very high in calcium. And you wanna focus on getting these foods as much as possible in your diet every single day. Now, I wanna mention this, calcium supplements warning. If you're doing a by itself calcium supplement, it may increase your risk of a heart attack, increase your fracture risk and artery disease. Well, how's that possible? Here's the reason why. When you take calcium, you need to take it with the other cofactors that support absorption, including vitamin K, vitamin D, and magnesium. Okay, so remember, in order to absorb calcium, you need vitamin D, magnesium, okay, and vitamin K. Vitamin K. Well, the good news is in food form, you're getting many of these other nutrients. In sardines, you're getting vitamin D. You know, in raw cheese, you're getting vitamin K2. That's why you want to be consuming that whole list of foods on that board to really lift up your calcium levels. But again, taking an isolated calcium supplement will actually do you more harm than good. You know, most of it's made of something called calcium carbonate, which essentially is ground mineral rock. And your body can't absorb it. In fact, according to clinical studies, your body will only absorb about less than 30% of calcium carbonate. The rest of it can actually get lodged in your arteries, causing arterial plaque and calcification of your arteries. So again, when buying a calcium supplement, make sure it also has vitamin D, vitamin K, and magnesium as part of it there as well. So the good news is, even though there's all these calcium symptoms, you can overcome them when you're using, uh, when you're getting more of these calcium rich foods in your diet every single day. Well, hey guys, if you wanna learn more about natural and ancient remedies to heal your body and other minerals like magnesium and vitamins like vitamin B12 and herbs that can help boost your bone density, make sure to subscribe here to my YouTube channel or search another topic like Dr. Axe Magnesium. You'll find more information there. Also, I've got a more in-depth article on calcium on my website. Just do a Google search for Dr. Axe Calcium. You'll find the article online there. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hi, Dr. Axe here. I want to say thanks so much for checking out this YouTube video. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to get more great content on things like herbs, essential oils, natural remedies, and how to use food as medicine. Also, check out more of our content on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.